right there. Being a, being a part of that team, uh, you know, the guys came off the bench, did their job, and went out there with some with professionalism and scored that many points and played that played that good defense. Describe the carryover from practice yesterday, just the intensity that you guys put out there on the floor tonight. Oh, we just wanted to play our game. You know, get back to playing our game, playing back to how we played in practice. You know, bringing it out there on the floor, and uh, I think we did a pretty good job of that. Who stood out to you out of all these young players that kind of took that next step? Shoot, everyone really, you know, just from the game before to now, I think it was a real good carryover, you know, from practice to the game, you know, just mostly on the defensive end, everybody talking out there and then just trying to play with pace on the offensive end. What's it like to be a teammate of Mo Wagner? Nah, it's, good, it's good. It's real good. You know, you say he's a guy that's going to try, he's going to work, you know, and try and try and pick up as many things as possible. Why was uh, everybody so excited when Jamario was in those threes? Because that boy can't shoot, man. <laughs> when he made them threes, man. He, he's been working on them, though. I'll give it to him. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know if you've asked this already, but what, what have you seen from Rui? You know, I've seen progression from him, you know, just from the start of training camp till now. You know, he's taking initiative to be aggressive on the offensive end and also on the defensive end. He's talking more with his teammates. He's becoming one with the team now. What, what, what in particular in his game have you seen the progression in? Uh, I've seen a real big progression in his talk on the defensive end. He's talking way more, you know, trying to switch out on more guys. And then on the offensive end, he's taking what the defense gives him. You know, that's the one big thing that, you know, I think that's – that's real key for us and for him as well. Is that really hard when you first come in the league, like just adjusting to that, like how they're going to play you, the speed, that kind of stuff? Yeah, it's very hard because you don't know. You know, you're coming into the game, you know, kind of like a deer in headlights, but, you know, it takes time, you know, when you're a rookie just coming into the league, and I think he's doing a real good job of it. No, he's doing real good on the rebounding end. You know, we need, you know, we know that we're undersized at some positions. And we know we had to be a hard-nosed team on the rebounding end. And he's doing an extra initiative to get out there, rebound the ball, and help us out out there. You want to get all the second-chance efforts that you can get from anybody. For right? sure, yes. Have to. Need it. <laughs> Thompson it may be difficult to, you know, really evaluate a performance against uh, a team that's not in the NBA. But two games in, and, and what would you – about you with the defense. That's I thought it was a, it's a step in the right direction. You know, I think I felt like we carry over some things from practice into the games. You know, especially on the defensive end. You know, being there on help side defense, talking out there. You know, being, you know, trying to communicate as much as possible. And the first game we didn't do that as much, and I feel like we carried it over to this game. Well, your new defensive coordinator has said, um, of course, no layups, no mm -hmm. easy threes. Um, but what are some of the things that uh, you think will be tenets of the uh, Washington Wizards defense characteristics of the defense? No layups, and we got to finish possessions. You know, when uh, when other team gets a shot up, we have to we have to secure the rebound and get out. That's Thank one thing you. we have to do. Mel. Your shooting touch was on fire today. What did you think? Uh, I think I shot it better. Um, made some mistakes on defense, which I didn't want to do. But, you know, I'm still trying to figure this thing out. So um, just using every preseason game as an opportunity to get better and learn and, you know, get up to speed and just be a guy that they can count on to contribute. Mm -hmm. Our second game in a row for you, racking up rebounds as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, big body. Got to be able to be big on the glass. Um, it's one of the reasons why they drafted me. Just my tenaciousness attacking the glass and trying to get extra possession. So the more I do that, the more value I have for this organization. So I got to continue to do that. How comfortable are you coming from behind the yard? I'm um, very comfortable. It's just about slowing down mm -hmm. now. Um, you know, college is a little quicker because it's just, I mean, you know, the rules are a lot different. Oh, yeah. but the court is bigger and it's a lot more space. And you just got to do a better job of realizing and reading um, the defense and, you know, knowing when to take shots, knowing not when to take shots and when to make the extra pass. and Just doing doing the right thing. So I just think the biggest thing is just being consistent uh, with energy, being consistent defensively and, you know, having things that the, the, the coaches and the staff know that they can count on out of Admiral Schofield. So once I build that um, confidence and respect uh, from the coaching staff and my my teammates, man, I think the sky's the limit. You had said uh, early in the training camp you, you think your role could be playing defense. Um, for the Wizards and what they want to do uh, this year defensively, what are like the major characteristics that this uh, team wants to be defensively? That, that, that the coaches have let you know this team needs to do this, this, and this? Well, just energy. Playing with energy, playing together, communicating at a high level on the floor. 
I mean, de talking on the floor is half the battle on defense. And then other 50% is just, just guarding the guy, which is pretty tough in this league. So I think just the biggest thing is just to have the defensive-minded approach, just understanding that when you're going out, we're trying to stop the team, you know, having a purpose on defense and, you know, knowing that we're not going to stop them every time, but just making it as tough as possible um, on every shot that we can, getting a high contest and, you know, really make them work the ball around. And, you know, don't don't give up easy buckets. Don't give up, um, you know, scouting report buckets and things like that. Just understanding the scouting report, understanding who you're playing, just being smart defenders. I mean, not fouling as well because um, we, we had a lot of trouble fouling last year, which I, I wasn't here, but we had a lot of trouble fouling last year, and we, we haven't started off good either with that either. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Think I got crossed? Huh? Think I got crossed? Think you crossed me? I don't know. Can you, you tell me? Mm -hmm. Have you ever been a part of a team on AAU that scored 103 points off the bench? Uh, no. Have not. Uh, that's what we scored tonight? That was interesting. Uh, off the bench? Yeah, no, that's, yeah. that's interesting. I think uh, we have a whole variety of guys that want to do the same thing, play hard and win, and do whatever it takes to win. I think... Uh, the organization has done a good job of bringing everybody together, and uh, I guess you would say recruiting and things like that with the same caliber of people. I think the message was taken from yesterday to play hard every minute. How do you transcribe that over now when you play another NBA team? Um, I think just be who we are. I mean, I, like I said, we're all high character guys who get along in the locker room and have a family atmosphere, and all have the same goal of turning the organization around, if you want to call that, say it, that is it. But I think overall, we're, we all want to play hard and win. I just think that's who we are. What have you been trying to focus on from the first pieces of the game to now? What you try to improve upon after watching that film and then coming out here with a fresh slate to kind of you know build upon that foundation that you've laid already? Um, I think certain reads, just being myself and learning from the first time. I think obviously that it was our first time actually playing against someone else. Mm -hmm. And there was an uh, opportunity for me to actually learn people's spots and certain reads that people like in certain positions they like the ball. And I think I was just trying to get a, a feel of the game for the first one. Now I think the second one was good and hopefully it carries to the third. Has Jamario now established himself as a three-point shooter? Uh, we were all getting excited. He was letting that thing go today. And I mean, we just try to give him confidence. He, we know when he doesn't think about it, he can shoot. So I just think that's where he got to keep going. Justin, what's been the feedback from the coaching staff, obviously with Isaiah's injury? What are they kind of hoping that you can bring? Um, just being myself. They brought me here for a reason, whether it was to learn from Ish and IT and even John. Um, but I think it's always next man up and the opportunity. Uh, I don't think we really talk about that or injuries. You always pray for someone to come back healthier than before. And I think IT and John will do that. So I just think I'm ready for whatever opportunity comes and just ready to step up and be myself no matter what. Do you think just playing four years at Tech already, not having a lot of experience, college experience, do you think that helps you kind of jump in uh, quicker than? Um, I, I think so. I think my my college coach Buzz, as you if you know who that is, um, he's hard on guys. He builds them up to just be ready for this opportunity, and he's always going to have us playing hard no matter what. I think that all translates to this this league, and I think that's what we are as a team. Just our identity is playing hard no matter what. Weird having to have a coach who doesn't wear three different shirts throughout the game? Um, actually, not really. I mean, Coach Brooks is still energetic and a jokester, just like Coach was. Um, Coach Coach Brooks is not, I wouldn't say taking me under his wing, but gives me feedback that I need. I just think our paths are kind of similar, and he tells me that he prays the best for me and hopes I can stay around long in this league. Does he tell you anything about his experience? Um, yeah, just the undrafted path and just how he was as a player and he sees himself in me and he'll say I'm more talented than he was so he thinks that I should stay around longer than him. But just to have the coach on your side and give me that feedback is a, a great feel and everybody on your side is going to ask for more.